Good morning and good evening. My name is Eastman. Welcome back to another unboxing. Today, I'm doing something very crazy that I've never done before. I was reorganizing my movie shelf back here and decided I wanted to get rid of some stuff. So that's where you come in, E Nation. Guys, I have a giant stack of Blu-ray steelbooks that we're gonna get into today, but the best part is that they are going to you. So if you spot a steelbook that you want from my personal collection, guys, all you gotta do is click the link down below to my Mercari, where I will be selling all of these steelbooks that you see right here. And no, they're not gonna be overpriced at all. I love all my subscribers. They're gonna be very cheap, but head on over there quick while supplies last. I sell a lot of stuff on my Mercari and I have a lot of followers on there. So again, we are about to go through this entire stack right now. First up in the stack is Fargo, the 20th anniversary edition. I'm getting this one out of the way quick. I actually bought this one used. It's got a couple dents in there. I'd rather just get a cheap Blu-ray copy to throw in with all the other Blu-rays. And that's mainly why I'm getting rid of a lot of these steelbooks. So um, just to fit in with all my extra stuff. There's Fargo, there's the disc for you. Uh, the disc is in perfect shape, so you got nothing to worry about there. Now that's one thing I do wanna mention guys, is that I have tested all of these Blu-rays beforehand. I played them once or twice and they are flawless. So they have the Eastman seal of approval. They work perfectly fine. I promise. So anyway, Fargo, if you're interested, it'll be up for pretty cheap since it's a little banged up. So it can be yours if you want it. So anyways, next up is Get Out. I bought this one brand new, but honestly, I haven't even touched it since I bought it. So again, it's like I said earlier, I just want a regular Blu-ray with a slip cover on it to go with the rest of my Blu-rays here on the shelf. So honestly, it's very cool. I love the design and the teacup right there on the back. I'm going to open this one up off camera because there is a digital code that I want to take out. So um, if you buy this, this is an unused digital code. I don't know if it's expired or not. I don't know if that's still a thing you can do, but but there it is. Brand new Get Out Blu-ray disc. Only played once, I believe, uh, by myself. So <laughs> I love that photo right there in the back. So very cool. I really hope you guys participate in this. I love interacting with each and every one of you guys. But check out this Mission Impossible Rogue Nation Blu-ray Steelbook. It's got a couple dents in it. Um, I think I bought it used as well, like a couple years ago. There's Tom Cruise right there hanging on the side of an airplane. So now there is a digital code right on the back of this. Um, I didn't use it, so I don't know if the digital code has been used yet or if it's expired. Check out the disc right here for Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Next up is A Quiet Place, a film I really love. If they hear you, they hunt you. Look at this red Blu-ray steelbook with the indented scratch marks on the side right there. Look at that. I actually remember the day I bought this steelbook. I went to Best Buy the day this movie was released on Blu-ray and picked up this steelbook. The digital code inside has not been used either. I don't really use digital codes that often. So, And the disc, like I said, I've only watched it once. Uh, the disc is in pristine shape. So check this out. If you're interested, head over to my Mercari. Click the link in the description. But next up is Rocket Man. This one I did buy used. Um, so I don't think there's a digital code in there, no. So, um, but the disc looks pristine. I watched it the other day. This copy actually is really pretty on the outside too. No dents or scratches or anything. It's like someone bought it brand new, watched it and sold it. So I happened to pick it up at a used store. So it looks pristine, brand new. So I'll have that up for sale as well. Next up is Whiplash, guys. I bought this one like three or four years ago. I've had this thing forever and I never even watched it once. <laughs> It's really upsetting, honestly, but that's the reason I'm getting rid of it, guys. I just want another copy with a slip cover right here with my whole Blu-ray collection. So check it out. It looks pretty sick. I bought it used, so it doesn't have a digital code in there. The disc looks pretty nice. Um, we can take a look at it. Yep, brand new. Uh, I bought it this way, so we're going to put that right over there. Next up is probably the rarest steelbook that I'm selling here in this stack. The Witch, a New England folktale. Guys, this steelbook is gorgeous. It has a couple dings. I bought it off eBay for around $30. And as you can see right there on the spine, it says The Witch, Davich, uh, with another language right there as well. This copy is definitely region A, I believe. I did watch it to make sure it plays, and it plays fine. But there's no digital code or anything like that. It's got a DVD copy in here as well. All right, let's take a look at the disc. Perfect shape. No issues there at all. So we're going to slide it back in. The reason I'm selling this one, guys, is that I actually recently picked up a 4K copy of The Witch with a slip cover. And I was like, that's the copy that I've been wanting to find for so long. This is just going to sit on my shelf because every time I want to watch The Witch, I'm going to use my 4K copy. The outside is in perfect shape except for some minor scratches right up at the top there. But 
Otherwise, this is a must have for any steelbook collector. So gonna put that one over there. Next up, we have a Target exclusive steelbook of The Wolf of Wall Street. Haven't even touched it since my recent watch to check and make sure that it was okay and that it plays well, but there's a digital code right here. I bought this used, I believe, so I don't know if the digital code has been redeemed or not, or if it has expired. So, but it's in here if you need it. And the Blu-ray disc plays fine. I tested it the other day, like I said, and it looks great to me. But let's slide the digital code back in there and close it up but again it's got all the cool stickers on it as well that's pretty cool last but not least guys the steelbook for Zombieland Zombieland is one of my all-time favorite films but I'm not really too big of a fan of this steelbook it's still nice it's got a great artwork but it was in brand new condition with the shrink wrap on it when I got it I remember that so let's take a look inside but it's got a cool disc I'll admit that that's what I wish was on the cover too but anyway check out the disc Zombieland brand new blu-ray disc right there for you but that wraps it up guys these are the steelbooks that can be yours and i forgot to mention with every purchase of one of these steelbooks guys i will slide in a personalized message from me to you as a special thank you for supporting the channel and being a member of the e nation so we're going to take one last look at all these steelbooks just in case you're interested zombie land the wolf of wall street the beach a new england folktale whiplash rocket man a Quiet Place, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, Get Out, and Fargo to finish it off. So again, if you are interested in purchasing any of these Blu-ray steelbooks, head on over to my page on Mercari by clicking the link in the description or just DM me on Instagram at Eastman underscore collection and we can talk and figure something out. Act quickly because these steelbooks will go very fast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing with me today and if you did, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to consider joining the Eastman Nation today by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And as always, my name is Eastman. I'll catch you guys in my next unboxing.